Hi everyone and welcome to the Blackboard site for English 398U, uh, African American Literature. Uh, I wanted to create this video, this brief video, to give you a short overview of how the course and particularly this Blackboard site will work. Um, I noticed that uh, a handful of you who are on the roster have taken classes with me before. If so, uh, welcome back. For those of you who haven't, um, I want to uh, I want to show you sort of how I tend to approach these classes. One of the things that is particularly important, especially in an online class when we don't have time, lots of time anyway, to talk about the course format and expectations, is I try to make it as organized as possible. And I want to say up front, if there's something you don't understand or something that's unclear, please do contact me. It's my goal throughout the semester to make the class better if I can. Um, but let me dive right in. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you, and perhaps the most important thing I can tell you now, is that although there is a course syllabus, and it's listed over here under course documents, um, it, what I ask of you on a weekly basis will always be posted right here on the announcements page. And this is the very first thing you will see every time you log in you will see that I've got week one assignments right here. Well, each week, and it will start on Mondays usually, each week I will put a new checklist of assignments. I still want you to pay attention to the syllabus. That gives you a broader view of the course, when major assignments are due, required reading, uh, required texts, and so forth. But on a weekly basis, I will put everything I want you to do in this checklist, uh, what I want and when I want it. Um, if it's not there, it's not due for that week. So please just keep that in mind. Now, what I think I'll do is I'm going to go over very basically um, the main elements of the course. And I think actually a useful way to do that will be to go through this first week of, of assignments. And you'll note that there isn't too much here, uh, mostly because I want to make sure people have a chance to get the text. Um, you should have already received an email about that, but I want to make sure you have extra time and because the first week is always chaotic for everybody. Um, so you will notice that the first assignment here is watching this video. So if you're watching right now, you've completed the first assignment. Um, the next assignment is some selected reading from this book, okay? And this is the Norton Anthology of African American Literature. As I noted in the email I sent you, and I've also got details about these, this and other texts in the syllabus, um, but in that email, I, I noted that I've asked you to buy this particular edition because it's older um, and therefore much less expensive. Um, so please make sure it's this one. I believe it's the second edition. Okay, it is the second edition. So you've got some reading, and I put um, in parentheses the page numbers for that reading. Then um, you've got two assignments for the week. Um, the first, is, uh, and both of them are in the discussion board. And to get there, you're going to click on Discussion Board over here. You'll see that the first one, which is due by this Friday, um, and I should say that if I say an assignment is due on, say, Friday um, or any day of the week, you have until 11.59 p.m. on that day to get it done. Of course, you can and should submit it earlier than that. But to receive credit, it must be in by the last minute of that day. If it's later than that, um, I don't give credit for it. Um, and I know that might seem like a harsh policy, uh, but if I start taking assignments five minutes late, then I take them. I have to. Then I start taking them ten minutes late, and then what's the difference? Then I have to take them all. Um, I do try to make sure I give you a reasonable amount of work um, and give you a reasonable um, set of deadlines to get that work done. If you get it done on time, you'll get credit. But if you don't, I cannot give you a credit for for discussion board assignments. Now, like I said, the first one's due this Friday, and to get there, you click on Discussion Board. What you will see is different from what I have here. I've got a whole bunch that you'll see later in the semester. You should just see two. And the first one here, um, called Black versus African American, and talking about different racial labels we've used um, in this country. The, uh, I did post a document um, to week one materials, and I'll show you where. Um, but really, this is about your ideas. Uh, it doesn't require lots of reading in advance. It's really kind of to get the ball rolling. Um, and you'll note that I say, um, you'll notice with all of these or most of these, I say, although it's not required, you are encouraged uh, to respond to other people. For now, I don't require, so I want you to post your response and the way that you do that, 
is you click on the subject and then if you're the first one you hit create a thread you need to put a, a title and then your text okay and when you're done you hit submit don't hit save draft that'll just save it for later but nobody else will see it you hit submit and then you should be able to see it right here okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and delete that okay so you, you post it there you'll notice though that what I also ask you to do is respond to other people I'm not requiring it right now but please note that part of your overall course grade is participation and this is one of the primary ways that you can earn that participation grade is by responding to other people do I need you to respond to every person every week no um, I don't want you to just write a couple words here and there but if you have some thoughtful responses each week um, here's the place um, to include them and if you do that um, that will obviously um, help your participation grade so this right here is the first one um, there's right here all I ask is for your response there's no required length for the post um, all it has is a due date of Friday now let me go back to those um, assignments uh, go back to the announcements page here's the second one and this one's due by Sunday okay this does um, this is based upon some of the assigned reading and yet and yes this is another uh, discussion board assignment so we'll go to this one this one's going to be more typical of what I asked throughout the semester um, here I say please respond to one of the following questions I usually try to give you choice making sure to cite the te text at least once in your response for the purposes of this and all future discussion board forums citing the text means quoting from it directly and providing an in-text citation so for many of these I'm going to ask you um, to respond to a particular question or, or give you a choice but in your response I'm going to ask you to quote the text directly and provide an in-text citation if the citation isn't perfect according to MLA or APA guidelines you will still get credit for the post um, but I want you to, to make sure that you are quoting the text if you don't um, that means that you can't receive full credit for it um, and then the last thing um, is that I say you don't need to provide a work cited entry um, you know so in other words I do want you to put the in-text citation but you don't have to put something at the bottom that has every last uh, detail about the text the publisher that kind of thing okay so what I'm at what I'm asking you to do here is respond to one of the questions and cite the text once in some others I might add one other requirement which is that it has a minimum word length so uh, I might say in at least 150 words cite the text and respond to one of these questions if you follow the instructions for the discussion board and you post your response on time you will get full credit unless it's you know absolutely terrible or ridiculous um, if you don't you don't get any credit um, although like I said that seems harsh on the flip side if you just do the assignment as instructed I give you uh, all the credit and since this is a significant portion of your overall course grade this is an easy way if you just stay on top of the reading and the assignments to boost that course grade okay so these are the two discussion board assignments that I've asked you to complete um, for this uh, upcoming week and I'm going to take you back to the announcements page okay the last one for the week is simply to familiarize yourself with the course syllabus and I'll get us there um, and some of the course assignments right now though I'm not assigning anything other than these discussion board responses I have given you access to some other information but it's for informa it's for information only uh, I don't want you to work on anything else other than the required reading and discussion board responses now taking you through the rest of the course I'll do it very quickly um, faculty information is where you can find my basic contact info let me emphasize here that email is by far the best way to contact me and my general rule is 24 hours so if you if you write me an email you should receive a response within 24 hours if you don't assume that I did not get the response and resend it okay I do try to be as prompt as I can uh, with emails um, voicemail I don't recommend I do check it I don't check it as regularly as I ought to um, we may eventually decide to hop on the phone or something like that but please begin by email it's the most reliable way um, to get to me now beneath that you'll see course documents and I might not go over every single part of the course right now but I want to go over the most important ones 
Here, um, you will see all of the assignments uh, or the course documents that uh, I've made available. Now you see week one and week two materials. I've just shown these to you and left made them available for your information. Obviously week one will be relevant. As the semester goes on, there'll be more folders. I've also provided the course syllabus and two of your major course assignments, okay? Um, let me open the syllabus first and show you it. Okay, what you will see, what you see here is the course syllabus. And what I'm gonna do here, and let me make this a little bit bigger, is show you the basics. So I want you to read especially the first two pages. This contains all of the course policies. It also includes the required texts. I already sent you the information for this first one. You are eventually going to need these two, and I've provided ISBN numbers so you can get the precise one. I've also chosen typically older editions that are less expensive. But please do go through these first two pages to understand the grading um, and so forth, okay? And assignments, uh, what the policies are for late work and things like that. And then beneath you will see a, week's, a weekly schedule. I may make some changes here and there. Uh, if I do make changes, I won't just add work. I'll sort of adjust so I'm not just piling things on. But more or less, this is what you can expect um, throughout the semester. Um, so this is the course syllabus. I recommend that you print it out and have a copy of it um, for your records. All right. Beneath that, and I won't open them both now, um, two of the major assignments in the class. You're going to have a couple of essays. You're going to have weekly discussion board assignments. And then you're going to have something called short analysis. And you're going to have something called moderating the discussion board. You can read um, about those assignments in the documents posted here, but they're not assigned yet. I'm gonna wait until next week, perhaps the weeks at, week after that, to start assigning that. But essentially, each of you will be required to complete these assignments, e each of these assignments, once throughout the semester. One of them will, both of them will require you to schedule in advance, and I will put up a scheduling document so people can decide what week um, they want to do these assignments. Um, one of them, this first one, will also require a brief conversation with me via Skype, Google Hangouts, FaceTime, whatever. Again, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Um, I will assign those next week. But here's the course document section. You've already seen the discussion board. I may break you into groups later in the semester, but I won't click there because I haven't done it yet. The last thing that you should note is my grades. Um, I, again, I'm not going to click that because what I will click, what I will see is not what you will see. Uh, but essentially, this is where I do a, I do record all of your course grades. I do that so if there is a mistake, you will see it and you can bring it to my attention. But I also do it just so you can be um, up to date on your progress in the course and see how you're doing. Um, I do try to stay on top of it, but uh, give me a week or so um, to fill it in. So if you complete a discussion board that's due Friday, um, please don't email me Saturday saying where's the grade. It takes me some time, but I do stay on top of this. I do read all of the discussion board posts. It just sometimes takes me a week or two to fill in the, dis uh, the grade book, okay? Um, and so let me take us back to the announcements section. That's really um, the course um, in a, a as a whole. Next week, I will start to assign uh, particular sort of larger assignments. Uh, but for now, what I'd like you to focus on is familiarizing yourself with the Blackboard course. Um, I would like you to go through and take a look at the syllabus. And then I have some reading for you out of this book. Um, I think a lot of it is available online if your book hasn't arrived yet. Um, and uh, a couple of discussion board items, one of them due Friday and one of them due Sunday. Okay, like I said, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please let me know, uh, send me an email, and I will get back to you uh, as quickly as I can. Uh, I look forward to having you in the class. Uh, I hope you find these uh, readings, these texts, as enjoyable uh, as I do. Uh, so here's to a good semester.